you have to be brainwashed. Justice is justice. Allah says, when you do justice, not let compassion come in your way. Allah says that. Is Islam very harsh in terms of its punishment? What does the Quran say about the concept of justice? Let the good Sheikh explain. Now, all our judgments are based upon us not knowing Allah's kalam. Allah Bari Ta'ala wants us to do justice. He says in Surah An-Nisa, the women, in honor of women, An-Nisa, chapter 4, ayah number 135, he says, Ya yuhallazina amanu, say all you who believe, kunu qawwamina bilkist, he says, stand up firmly for justice. Shuhada alillah, as witnesses to Allah. If you stand up for justice, you're standing up for God. Because God is just, you be just. Wala wala anfusikum, even if it goes against yourself. Allah knows, it's very difficult. Even if the justice, if we start arguing and reasoning, as long as you keep on agreeing with me, you know that you're gonna lose the case. What are you gonna do? Allah says, wala wala anfusikum, even if it goes against yourself, I will validate it goes against your father or your mother, wal akrabin or your relations, aw ghaniyan aw fakiran, whether it goes against the rich or it goes against the poor. Fallahu awla bihima. Allah will look after their interests. It is not for you to look after people's interests. You, you do justice. And I'm quoting this to an unbeliever, a Christian. And he tells me, impossible. That kind of standard, impossible. I want to know from my brothers and sisters, what do you say? Even if it goes against yourself, or against your father and your mother, or your relations. Hum Pakistani hai. It goes against the Bangladeshis. Hum Pakistani hai, or hum Bangladeshi hai. It goes, even if it is about your own people against somebody else, are you prepared to do justice? It says impossible. What do you say? Is it possible? Yes. Allah wouldn't have given you something impossible. I said, I agree with you, it is impossible if you are not programmed. If we are not programmed right, impossible. If you are not programmed, in common language, brainwashed. You have to be brainwashed with that type of data material. Otherwise, impossible for you to do that type of justice. I said, if you are programmed right, you can do justice. And so saying, I gave the example of Hazrat Umar, the second Khalifa of Islam. One of his sons was charged for adultery and he was convicted by the Qadi, by the judge of adultery. Punishment, 100 lashes. 100 lashes. So he's being taken outside Medina, laid in the sand, and the official whipper is given the whip. He says, go ahead and execute judgment. So he starts. He lifts up the whip right above his head and he brings it down with all the force at his command. But before impact, he reduces the impact. One, he did it. Two, he did it. It's, it's touching the young man, but not as hard as you did to somebody else's son. This is Umar's son. Three, Hazrat Umar, radiallahu anhu, he sees what's going on, the fast. So he goes and snatches the whip out of his hand. He said, look, I'll show you how it's done. Four, five, six. Before he can reach 100, the young man dies. He expires. And Hazrat Umar scoops him in his arms and he cries. He cries, my son. This is what he owed to his child. Justice is justice. Allah says, when you do justice, not let compassion come in your way. Allah says that because you know the tendency to do injustice is no, don't let compassion come in your way when you're executing justice. He did his job. Now, this is still my son, he's my flesh and blood. He owes him something, and this is the tears and the sorrow he owes to the child. He's prepared to repay that. Why? Because he was programmed right. We, we are not programmed. Very difficult, very difficult for us to do justice, because this has not been given to us. Again and again, we are not being told about the type of justice we ought to do. If you enjoy this video, Please like and subscribe to Islamica to support our efforts. Thank you.